Hello, beloveds. How are you doing today? Light, love, namaste, ashe, loved one. My name is Reverend Penelope. You can follow Chemistry on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm so excited to be here today. So much has been going on. You know, I've been getting here when I can get here, and the ancestors have been working with me. The business has leveled up. We've now... Uh, we now offer metaphysical products, candles, bath teas, which I'm going to get into that in a little bit, baby, because that bath teas, bath teas is everything. I didn't know the ancestors taught me, like, bath teas are everything. Like, you bath, the, the, the spiritual bath, they're everything when you learn how to take them properly. But I'll get into that later. So, uh, leveling up on the, uh, the business so they're now uh now the products are available on the website if you're interested in our oils you're interested in our bath teas our candles uh hey we we have them out there but i wanted to come here kind of give you an update of what's been going on just let my hair down you know you guys i come here we kind of like you know, soul family here, you know, we let our hair, hair, I let my hair down here, we're equals, we share information, so I love coming here, giving you, you know, any type of information that I'm learning, uh, that's going to help you on your journey, because I know the experience, that's what we, we want, we, we were trying to match our experience and, and see where we're at on our journey, so I, I don't think enough of us share the experience, and that's why I do a lot of reading, trying to find the experience. And so here lately, uh, the ancestors have been really working with me. Um, I've been leveling up here spiritually. I mean, all these retrogrades and doing the shadow work. Thank God for uh, the program, you know, the Know Thyself program. I've done it so long enough that I'm in alignment when these retrogrades come up. So when it's time for me to address these weaknesses or shortcomings that I have going on with me, I have the tools to deal with it. Not let ego take over or my emotions uh, take over. Do the healing work I need and then level up. The spiritual baths have amplified that. Yes, 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 yes. The spiritual baths, I do repeat, you know, uh, I underestimated the power of a spiritual bath until the ancestors taught me how to do it. And a baby, I have been working them and they are, they, they've been, oh my gosh, I, I've had some experiences. The other night, I uh, know it's been made two, about two or three weeks ago, I was taking, probably about two weeks ago, I was taking a bath, and I was doing some healing work on myself, and I was called up on my ancient ancestor mothers, and I was called up on all these nature, you know, ancient ancestral nature spirits, and I was calling on them and thanking them for cleansing me and healing me. And saying my other prayers, listening to my meditation music. I got some meditation music because I get all into that, baby. Ancestors taught me how to get all into that. Just get into that. Um, and so I got into that. And I laid back. And instantly when I closed my eyes, I saw myself in this fountain. And at the end of the fountain was an e Egyptian head. And around the fountain was these beautiful women. And I saw different gods and goddesses all around me. And I saw these ancestral mothers that were healers and shamans begin to bathe me. And I can feel my mind begin to shift. I can feel a shift going on during the mind. Like, you're this, uh, we take you to another level. You're never going to be the same. We, you know. And so I felt my mind shift when I began to hear them say, we are here. Know that we are here. We are leading you. We are teaching you. We are guiding you on your journey. And they began to bathe me. And I can feel my mind shift more and more. Uh, they bathed me. Uh, that, that was a profound experience. Again, I, I'm starting to see these. And I, at, like the ancestors told me, they said, hey, you've been getting these visions and impressions a lot. But you ignore them. 
you know, but it's really spirit communicating with you. Uh, I was telling my husband, uh, that's why I've gotten into this uh, puff and paint thing. Uh, I want to try to start painting some of these images that I see in my mind that I don't even know how to draw. <laughs> it's something, but I'm trying to open up that creative part of my mind because these are the places that they take me. Uh, this is the this is what I experience in meditation. If you listen to any of my meditation videos, uh, some of them are very intense, and these are my experiences. And they have really helped shift my reality uh, and bring some things in that I needed, you know. So, yeah, I, I really didn't think that I was. But working more with the ancestors, they are teaching me about how to talk to spirit is this is this is this is something else. It's uh, it's something to communicate with something that you cannot see. And you're sensing, you're using, you know, they, you just call it the sixth sense, but you're using all of your senses in a way. You know, that's the only way I can describe it. You know, I've tried to read these mediumship books, but they, you know, they just didn't yield the results that I wanted. But it was, it was, you know, it, it's a couple of books that I'm going to refer here that has that yielded some great results that gave me confirmation and I'm going to share those books here with you so I might be here a minute so that was one experience I had with the ancestors I've had many more in meditation here lately ever since then my meditation I have these visions where the ancient mothers are with me uh, these these powerful women uh, are with me uh, cleansing, helping me cleanse out these ancestral lines. Um, to, uh, and, and, and what I'm learning on the journey is many of these ancestors are gods. They are gods. Some of them are the Orisha. Some of them are the Netheru. Some of them are older than them. Yes. And the more I begin to understand that, they led me to books to understand that that confirmed what they were telling me oh my gosh it's been awesome uh after that because i was like I, but i you know i haven't read many books like that i read i began to run up on books that confirmed it one after another uh and they just led me to it because i was looking in the wrong area i had to be looking in another area to find it but they and i'll show you those books as well um, again, this is a profound trust your ancestors, trust your instincts, you guys. Trust your instincts and trust the ancestors, believe me. Now, they I've been working with herbs and stuff too. The ancestors said the herbs is where it's at because it's our first relationship. We that's you know, they are our first ancestors, they are the ones that we first embodied that we use to sustain our life here. And uh, I had a very profound experience with the herbs and meditation. They took me there to that kingdom, to plant kingdom. Uh, wow, it was alive. It was alive. They were alive. And they were telling me, like, we are alive and you need to understand that. And, and I could, my grandmother was there. And she was like, I got her. I got her. You know, and I'm, te I'm telling the plant, like, I'm not sure I can do it. My grandmother, like, yeah, you're going to do it. I'm a teacher. And she has been teaching me. And so I was moved to go buy some more plants in my house. And I'm growing herbs now. Um, and one day... The ancestor said, why don't you start foraging a little bit in the backyard? What can you forage out there? And I looked, I said, I like those dandelions, you know. And they said, oh, yeah, those dandelions are good for anything. I mean, there's a strong plant. You can use it for a variety of things. It can enhance your life. Why don't you go out there and start talking to them? And so I had been, I went out there and I started talking to the, uh, to the uh, dandelions and I asked them, you know, I want to work with you. I, you know, I, I know you got a powerful spirit and I would love to work with you in healing and enhancing my life. You know, uh, I will respect you, you know. And so I left it at that. And a day or two later, I felt like I got a yes. 
I went out there and I start digging them up and the ancestors said, hey, you need to dig them up from the root. You know, because they're useful from the root all the way to the tip. So get the get from the root. And so I began to dig in the earth and I got a couple of maybe two or three up successfully. But this one, I didn't go deep enough. And I began to pull on it and hadn't, you know, dug the root out good enough. I hadn't got deep enough in the earth. And I pulled it and I swore to God. I mean, that's the only explanation I can come up with. I have a private fence. My backyard is big. It's just not uh, that plant yelled. I heard a screeching. I heard felt the vibration in my hand and I heard it. <gasps> it screeched. And I said, oh my God, did this plant just yell? Did I just hear the screech? And ancestors immediately said, you just damaged the root. You didn't go deep enough. Look at the plant. And I looked at it and, and I didn't go deep enough. And I felt so bad. I felt so bad. Uh, I instantly began to put uh, oil, some olive oil down where I dug at the plant and apologized. And I began to ask the dandelions, you know, uh, is, it, is it still okay that I work with you guys? I didn't mean to hurt you. You know, I didn't mean to offend you. I just wanted to work with you. And that's all my intentions was, you know, I'll pay you for your services. You know, uh, I'm, I'm grateful for your services, you know. And so I left and maybe, maybe about two or three days later, I noticed more dandelions grew out there. And I was like, is this me or is it more dandelions out here than usual? So I didn't say anything. I thought it was just me. So the next night, I and my husband were out there on the patio in the backyard. And he was looking at the backyard. He said, it's strange. I've never seen this many of those things out here like that. I said, oh, so you notice it too? You notice the dandelions too? He said, yes, I do. I've never seen them grow out there like that. I said, and then I told him about what happened. He said, I don't know how much of a sign you need that that's a yes, because I've never seen dandelions grow like this in this backyard. And you can look at our front yard and it doesn't grow that same way as the backyard. They look totally different now. Our front yard looks different from the backyard. So that is a sign that is a yes. I don't know another sign that you need. Uh, it, it, a profound things have just been happening. I'm in, uh, and, you know, because I don't hear a lot of people talk about it. And this is my experience. And these are my gifts that's coming open. Uh, and learning how to use them for myself and then I've already been using them uh, for others unconsciously, but to use it in a way, I don't know people, I don't know, to use it in a way where I know what's happening. Because what's been happening is it's been happening and I've not been knowing it is happening because it happens so naturally. Because I think that everyone has this experience. That's, that's having that, you know, they pick up things the same way and... Um, and we do, and it, 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 some of us do, and, but going down this road with the ancestors have made me more of a medium, like, they are showing me how they speak and how to listen for them, you know, it's just been a beautiful journey, and I can't wait to share uh, you know, like I said, the baptize, hey, there's something to that. I'll show you how to do a spiritual bath, how to call in that energies. Like they are here, the herbs, uh, connecting with the herbs. I'll be working with dandelions, I'm sure, because my backyard is full of them. They just keep growing. My grass is not growing. The dandelions are growing. I can't believe it. I mean, I still can't believe it. I mean, some things that I just can't believe it. Um, 
But I've denied, again, I've denied my gifts for so long because I come from a dysfunctional family. Uh, I came from a family uh, where I was unseen and, and really looked at as crazy. So it's, it's very hard, you know, again, but I'm starting to embrace them more and more. The ancestors just like, no, 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 no. But let me refer you to some books. This is going to be a long video. I'm sorry it's so long, you guys, but a lot of things has been going on and I want to keep you in the loop of what's going on. I want to keep sharing information. If my information helps you along your journey, I'm so happy because I wish, you know, I'm finding the ones that's doing that. So I want to make it easier for you uh, as well. So if I can help, I'm going to help. Uh, you know, now is the time to really follow the YouTube channel right now. Invite your, um, your friends or whoever is interested in tapping into those spiritual practices for healing, for enhancing their lives, learning, learning behind it. I would love to do a book club with you guys. Uh, just... Uh, do a book club with you guys and I'll, I'll just have to you let me know what you think about a book club us doing a book club you can call go over to my web go over to the website and we can do a book club from there and really break a lot of this stuff down in the community because uh, I, I would love to break it down in a, in a more private settings for those who want to know so if you're interested in, in a book club and you want to know more about this I want you to head over to uh, my website and look at some of those communities over there that might interest you and we can discuss more about, more about books but here I'm going to refer some books to you I was looking for and I was looking for how to work with spirits and it, this is a trip I was looking for how to work with spirit that's what I've been looking for now to valid kind of confirm my experiences with working with ancestors and the messages they've been giving me and how to really really get in tune with recognizing this book right here this guy right here Derek Moore he is on my fire fire book he confirmed a lot of my experiences with the ancestors how to work with ancestors a basic way a scientific way he's took the, our ancestral knowledge and he has put it in a format oh my gosh that's simple and he's even uh, put his experiences in there. Some people don't like that, but I like your experiences because maybe I can relate. He's not giving you just like a, a how to do this, do this, do that. He's, he's putting, a, oh, this might happen and this is my experience. And when I did this, this happened, you know. And that's what we need to, you know, we need to find out what works for us. This book here, and this book, A Practical Shamanic Guide for Using Comedic Ritual, Magic, and Spirituality for Acquiring Power. And you guys, I don't use everything. I don't I don't use everything I read in these books. I usually do it for confirmation because the ancestors will lead me where I need to be. Even if I don't understand it, I'm the urge be in me so in me to do it. I can't even I can't even explain when they prompt me to do something it's a it's an urgency that happens inside me more of an impulse that I can't help but do it and they'll say you'll understand it later I'll be like why am I doing this and then they'll they'll lead me to a book later and that's how it's been happening with me okay uh what is this other book this book is it is that same book why they look like the same book? This one. I like this. Because I'm, you know, the the when you're following hoodoo, you're following a shamanic path. You're following the, the most ancient path of our ancestors. See, hoodoo is a is a magic that we passed on. We already knew. That if we can pass that on, the belief system on to our children, our magic will live on. That's what that's what hoodoo is all about. That's why your magic work, why it works. Because when your mama them pass it on, and they mama them pass it on to them, that's their magic that work for them. And so when you start tapping into this with your ancestors, you start tapping back into the ancient uh, magic. Okay, the herbs and all that, them your ancient ancestors. 
and some of the deities um because the ancestors told me that too they was like no you need to keep working with ancestors because the ancestors uh he confirmed it in this book too it was another book that i read let me see if i have it on here it's a orisha book uh, if it's still on here, I done read so many books you got. This book right here. This book right here. Let me go back to the beginning, you guys. This book right here. I love this book because he 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 takes it to a he's talking about how the Orisha is evolving. How Centuria is evolving. How a Lukumi is evolving. How it's not staying in a strict tradition. But it's changing as this new generation are going there. Like, he says, like, new Orishas are being birthed all the time. And I was like, you can birth the Orisha? You know? And then he goes on to explain how, goes on, because I know you've heard the story that Shango was actually a person. He was an Ashley person, but lived such a, a, a life where he, of good character, he was deified. That's how we did with our ancestors. So when you went, that's why it's so important before we do anything else is to connect with our ancestors first. Before we work with some of these deities. Because when I'm working with my ancestors now... The Netaru has come to me. You seen the Egyptian head. The Orishas have come to me. Uh, especially working with with nature and, and those type of things. But the Netaru has come to me really about uh, shifting, you know, helping me shift my consciousness. You know, going back into those ancient those baths, those ancient mothers have been coming up. So they 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 have been coming to me, you guys. So stay open. So open again when you go out and work with your ancestors and then work your way in you may have to work with some of those uh older deities stronger deities before you come back in to work on your immediate family you're not even doing that healing in the first place they're going to do it because you don't even have the energy to do it that's why you're going to them that's why we go to them. I know I didn't have the energy to do it. I needed more spiritual power and ammunition. So I had to go out to those oldest ancestors who had not been touched by that trauma. If that makes sense to you. So this, this is a good book. I don't even know his name. Let me show it again, y'all. Because I can't even say his name, y'all. I can't even say his name. But this is a really good book. Okay. I know, and it's, some of it is easy to read, you know, it's, it's definitely not for a novice. So if you're beginning, this book is probably not for you. The books that I'm referring to you now, if you are a beginner, they're probably not for you. This is for someone who's been on their journey and still learning more. You know, who still want to gain more, still elevating their ancestors' altar, still learning how to work with their ancestors. This this book is for that. Not the ones that's just beginning. The ones who's been on that and who's amplifying working with their ancestors. These books are for that. Okay. And so, another great thing happened when I had that. Because the ancestors' mother's been coming up in my tarot card readings. I've been doing Isis readings. Uh, and I was guided to this other book. I said, you know what? I need to work more with my ancestral mothers. You know, they've been coming up in this bath. They came up in this bathtub. Uh, they come up in my meditations all the time. I need to uh, find some tarot cards that's just dedicated just to those ancestral mothers. Just to them. And so, which one am I at? It's this one. Yeah. No. I'm sorry you guys it's taking a little bit. Cause I'm going through two accounts. I got two account Kindle accounts. So I read books on my husband accounts and my account. I don't know why I do it. I just do it. 
And now I've been reading books on his account. And he don't even read. That's probably why I do it. But this book. This book, you guys. Oh, my God. I love this author. I love what she's doing. She is healing. She has a community. She is healing. She is doing her part here. You know. Just think about where you are now. You know, many of us that's elevating when our family went generations from now. If we've lived a good life, look like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, they would be deified in, in generations behind us. They're going to become deities. Yeah. That's, that's, that's why working with ancestors are so important. And you'll find that in some of these books, too, working with Martin Luther King, uh, uh, Marie Laveau. Uh, you'll, you'll see some of these, these other spiritualists talk about working with these archetypes. Let me say that, archetypes. Okay? So this book was good. And when I was asked about working with ancestors and and uh, wanted tarot cards to work with those ancestral mothers. And she, this, this goddess here created these, this deck of cards. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. And this is exactly how they look in meditation to me. This is how they look in meditation when I see them. When I see them and I'm in meditation, this is how some of the sceneries look. Isn't it something? Just beautiful. I mean, the imagery in here. Marie Laveau. I mean, the imagery is just... And then she wrote the book. The book, when you get the book, they, we think she go into details about each one of these of the cards. Oshun, she goes into details, you know, the imagery, you know, I, again, I go into imagery and I can really, the imagery pulls me in and I can really connect with the ancestors because again, I start having I, the visions. I start having these impressions in my mind, visions. I just love these cards and I've been really connecting with them. I can't wait to start reading, uh, using them in some of my ancestors' reading. But for now, I'm reading. I'm using them for me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just love these cards. I love them. These are women from all over, and and and, and she's just not just kept it with Africa, but she's talking about us women uh, of color who's trying to gain the anxious back the ancient knowledge and, and spiritual practices of our ancestors and she's put it in a way where we can make it our own and connect with it you know uh it's just beautiful the things that that she's done and and that's in this book and so i had to come here and kind of share with you what has been going on and share with you about those books with Derek moore abiola abrams abrams uh, I think that's her name. I'm going to put her name up here. That's her name at the top. You know, beautiful cards. I really connect with the energy. I'll be coming back here probably next week, you guys. And I'll be showing you how to use uh, some of our metaphysical products and share with you how to and see if that'll help you. Again, we all are finding what works with for us and what doesn't work for us. So if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Thanks for being here with me today, you guys. Light, love, namaste. I say love ones.